so you can be grounded and relaxed and magnetic on video. Earthing is when you put your feet on brick or soil, even concrete is fine, and you get the electrons flowing from the earth into your body because we are electrical beings and we lose our electrons and then we get really tired and drained and we're bombarded by electromagnetic stuff and airwaves and cellular stuff and free radicals and stress and emotions and technology and we need to recharge from the earth. We're made of the earth and the earth gives us our juice. I just rediscovered Earthing. I watched these two documentaries by Steve Crochelle, and I'll leave the link in the description below. I got so excited about all the healing discoveries, so inspiring and interesting. So I decided I need to start Earthing again. The films actually talk about Nature Deficit Disorder, NDD. We're all very prone to when we live in a big city and we're not connecting to the earth and that's why I so love making my videos outside because it's a chance to actually be out in nature. Now I love these groovy pink shoes that I just bought but before I shot this video I just spent 20 minutes just my feet on the ground. I was really tired before I shot this video but I really wanted to make it so I just decided well gonna just put my feet on the earth and let myself plug into the earth and it feels so good. I recommend earthing before you make a video. If you're feeling stressed and you need some juice or you're exhausted, put your feet on the earth and that really lets you connect to your humanity and you're in your body when you can feel that energy from the earth going into your feet and then circling through your whole body. You can do this every day. It's not just in prep for your video. I hope this is helpful. And if you'd like some more help with getting more connected to your body and your energy system so that when you make a video, you're more authentically in your energy, I've got an excellent three-part video training series that I'm offering for free. I can teach you different ways to really connect to your audience when you're making your videos if you go to michellewhiteheart.com. Hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.